time to find out what's on Matt's mind today. And Matt, we're in for a stretch of nice weather you've been talking about, but this October has actually been pretty dry, in fact. It has, Ashley, and there are many things on my mind today related to the dry weather and the clear sky that we have and will have for many, many days to come. So first of all, let's talk about the rainfall that we've had so far this month and that's on the way. Just a few sprinkles on Friday. That's it. So if we pick up a couple hundreds, that may be it for rainfall for the month of October. As it stands, we're at 1.47 inches. Now that's less than half of what we got during the month of September, which was a very wet September, yes. But this October, if we were to get no more rain, which is totally possible, well, already there have only been 10 Octobers that have been drier than this October. Uh, in other words, we're tied for the 11th driest October as it stands right now. We may get a few more sprinkles on Friday, but even if we do, that's going to be it for the rest of the month. So that's one thing. A lot of clear sky on the way, and it just so happens that on the sun, there's a big sunspot that is rotated into an earth facing direction, and that's important. This is from NASA, by the way, this video. That's important because those sunspots, well, they send a lot of energy towards earth, and this is a big one. It's a huge area on the sun, and it pushes the solar wind, which has a bunch of energized particles out towards earth. It takes a day or two for them to reach us because the sun is like 93 million miles away, of course. But what does that mean to us? Here's what it means. It means that when that solar wind reaches Earth tomorrow night, it is going to spark some really brilliant Aurora Borealis up north where they see them all the time. But it also means that we have above average chance of getting it at lower latitudes like here in the northern tier of the United States. So tomorrow night and on Friday night, and we should have a clear sky both nights, especially tomorrow night, there is a chance that we'll have the Aurora Borealis visible from somewhere in Oregon. Now, will you see it in Portland? Probably not. You need to get away from the city lights. And if you are away from city lights, look to the north after midnight. The other thing that's in our favor is the moon phase right now. It's just a sliver. It's actually no moon on Sunday. So again, that's in our favor. This time of the year is in favor of the long, cool nights and the clear weather that we have coming our way. Ashley, back to you. Matt, thank you.